So I'm playing um, Piquito de Rivera's uh, Vals Venezolano, and I just recently learned that there are two versions of this. I mean, there are actually many versions, like written for different, in arranged for different instruments, but um, it's a very popular piece. It's a great piece, and the contradanza is the other one that's very popular. However, forewarning, um, there are two versions, International Opus, I believe it's called, and then there's Boozy and Hawks. And so, for those of us that kind of keep up uh, with the clarinet world and with composers who write for clarinet, uh, Piquito de Rivera um, now uh, writes uh, with the publisher Boozy and Hawks. And so, he, I believe International Opus owns this, um, where is it here? I'll show it to you guys. This version right here. And so, they're not the same. There are, there are differences, um, especially with the first movement, the, the vaults. So it's really important that you know that. As a matter of fact, you might wind up hearing a lot of recordings of the three pieces as opposed to the two pieces. And so I actually uh, realized that a little bit late in the game. And so I'm going to be playing the International Opus version, edition, and I'm just going to basically kind of put a little bit of the style of the newer version, the one that's for Boozine Hawks. Um, I just recently purchased it, um, and you know I won't get that until much later. So I, I actually do have to play uh, this piece for uh, a gig that I have. So um, it's a little bit shorter than the newer version, but that's okay. I think it, it, it's pretty much the same thing, except the tempo is much slower um, than what it's requested. And I, I, I could show you guys that if you're if you're interested, let me know. Um, but yeah, so I'm just basically practicing right now. Um, I have a Zoom rehearsal that I'm gonna get ready for, uh, and I'll show you guys how I handle that, or it's, it's gonna be a trial by error sort of deal, but I think it's gonna work. It's, it's one of my grand ideas. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. So essentially, I'm trying to get ready for my Zoom rehearsal. So I have the scores here that I need. Uh, obviously, I have my music. Here and I have my laptop that I'm going to be setting up. I'm going to get my mic set up. Um, you know, the only thing about Zoom though is sometimes um, with instrumental sound, it cuts it off. So hopefully that's not going to happen. So I'm just going to get set up right now. I am getting ready for my rehearsal. This should be interesting. Ah. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Good. How are you? I'm doing okay. Now you're probably like, what are you, what is this about? But um, I think I, I have an idea. <laughs> and I think it might work. Okay. I'm all for it. Here, I'm going to move over here to the keyboard. Okay. I thought I would use my keyboard because it's in tune. Oh, no, don't use your keyboard. I'm not in tune. I'm only sharp. <laughs> so the the one that you said was 144, is that, it's marked at like 184. Yeah, right? I know. There's a different version. So that's the, that's why I, was, that's why I sent you an email saying there's a... Yeah, that one. I really like it. Yeah, it's cool. Um, and then uh, the contradanza, maybe a hundred, I think, can work. I think that it, it, it's not going to be as uh, fast. It's going to be, you know, as one hundred eight. So it might, it might be a little more leisurely. So more like like a hundred. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, I think. Hold on, I got to think about this. This is like beyond my brain cells. Okay. I'm going to mute you. Okay. And I'm going to play so you can get a feel of the time. So you come in on a downbeat, I don't. So it might have to be that um, I'll you just come, come in, in with you. You come in on the third beat or something like that. I, yeah. yeah, that's totally fine. Don't worry about it. We can fix that. That's yeah. easy. Yeah. Um, yeah, that sounds good to me. So uh, 
Yeah, so the morning, let's do the morning song because I feel like we can knock that out so much easier. I think it's the other piece that might be a little more of a challenge because of my faux pas. Okay. <laughs> All right, sounds good. All right, so I am muting you. Okay. All right. Did this work or was it? I don't have any questions about that. That's really straightforward. You gave me all the cues. Simple. That's six four. I might forget to count. I realized I counted four and I was like, oh, I should have a little longer. I hear you <laughs> to come in, but I just realized I was like, I didn't, I like kind of shut down my counting in that moment, and I was like, uh oh. So then I tried to count two extra, and I was like, I hope that's right. It was, <laughs> it was right. Um, yeah, totally fine. And I'm not, there's ensemble things, but I can't, I, that, we're not in person, so I'm, yeah. Okay. I'm yeah. not worried. All right, so I think we can, we can put away. We can put away our buddy right here. Yes. <laughs> so I'm thinking like... That tempo. Okay. Okay, here we go. I will meet you. All right. timeout corner. Only fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's 7 a.m. on a Sunday. Happens to be Valentine's Day as well. And I'm just getting ready. And normally I don't eat this early, but I am going to eat something because I feel like I'm going to burn some energy. So, yeah. So, I will show you a little bit of what I'm doing, where I'm playing. I'm playing at my church, uh, Redeemer Presbyterian Church in New York City. I attend the East Side, and so that's uh, the worship team that I'm working with today. 
right at the subway station. Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. There. <laughs> All right, anyway. This is a bad captain bound seven local train. The next stop is 82nd Street, Jackson Heights. Stand clear of the closing door. So, I, taking this off, I'm actually on Lexington around 83rd because the announcer on the train said that, oh, someone's walking one moment. The announcer on the train said there was no local, so I need to be in 75th. So I'm walking and I have a lot of time, so that works, but yeah. Crossing the street. It's not a lot of people. Sundays, there's usually not a lot of people out. Um, but on the weekends, the trains don't operate the same. So not all the express trains are, are express. Um, certain trains that run at uh, a five minute interval, run at a 10 minute or 15 minute interval. So you have to be very aware of that. And so when you use Trip Planner on the website, the MTA website, that will help you figure that out. Yeah, there's not a lot of people uh, out in the street, but enough. And I have to be honest, there are a lot of people on the train at 7 a.m. Uh, and so, you know, it's a lot of those essential workers. And yeah, so I'm just gonna walk there. So I finished my gig and, uh, it was good. Um, I do have to say that whenever you're doing any kind of performance with piano, uh, it's always super important to check the intonation. Uh, and that piano was in tune with itself and sounded great on its own, but the piano was lower than 440. And so, you know, that can be a little problematic in um, for the clarinet simply because certain ranges within the clarinet have its own tendencies. And so, uh, the throat tones is, is the biggest issue, you know, um, making sure that the throat tones match and the throat tones can wind up not being in tune with your colleague, your collaborator. So that was, I think that was the biggest challenge. I think that kind of peeked through, uh, a few times. Um, and I, and my reads, uh, towards the end kind of fizzled out. So I had to switch, switch reads, which is why you should always have multiple reads. Um, but yeah, so mission accomplished and I hope you guys are having a great day and I might end the vlog here. So if I do have a great day and uh, stay safe and I'll see you next time.